round three of the Central Coast Tui's Rugby League coming from Berkeley Vale Oval. Well, a late kick off for 4.30. G'day, it's Paul Arendelle in commentary. And we've got the uh, Terrigal Wombrel Sharks taking the field. And they're sky blue, closely followed by the Berkeley Vale Panthers. The home team here for this afternoon's round three clash. I'll quickly go through the team lists. And for Berkeley Vale, our fullback, we have Jaden Jones. The wingers are John Carroll and Mitch Green. The centres are Jason Little and Tyson Roberts. The halves are Hayden Green and Alex Moore. The forwards, uh, Alan Munro and Tane Tataki. And the hooker is Matt Bailey. The back rowers are Jack Weir and Kai Knight. And the lock forward is Troy Adams. Their bench is Waylon Van Beveren, Brody Green, Chris Brady and Liam Scott. That's the Berkeley Vale Panthers. And for the Terrigal Sharks, we have Aidan Wright at fullback. Harry King and Kyle Franklin are the wingers. Ryan McDonald and Harry Mulligan are the centres. The halves are Kai Hopwood and Todd Lewis. And uh, the forwards are Michael Parfit and Scott Schreiber. Schreiber is back to the bench. And uh, we have Josh Lyon who will start as the front rower. And uh, the hooker is Ben Mooney. The back rowers are Dane Vetter welsh and uh, Jack Lenfer. And Ryan Jowett is the lock forward. The bench is Josh Dias, Max Gordon, Bailey Grimm. And as I said, Scott Schreiber will start the match on the bench. You can see both teams there out onto the field. And we're just moments away from kickoff. Pretty much, we're just waiting for the uh, the referee from reserve grade and first grade just to swap over their their microphones. That's how we do it in country rugby league. Speaking of the referees, the referee today is uh, Rob Bowen. The touches uh, touch judges are Connor Hibbert and Pat Allen. as they uh, sort themselves out now and um, we're only moments away from kickoff in this round three Central Coast Tui's Rugby League match a good crowd in here I'm surrounded by spectators I've got uh, Berkeley Vale Panthers on, on the right hand side and, and a few uh, Shark supporters on the left it's a very good crowd here on the, uh, the camera side of the ground there's a few making their way to the canteen Get a steak sandwich and a refreshing beverage to uh, before the game kicks off. As I said uh, last week, we did the Terrigal game against King Cumber, and King Cumber put the cleaners through the Sharks. So they'll be hoping for a reversal of form, but so too will Berkeley Vale. Their opening round they got towed up against Wild. They had the bye last week, so uh, we've got a good crowd here. So they'll be uh, hoping for a, a strong performance in front of their local spectators. So we're only moments away from kickoff. The referee, Rob Bowen, just waving to the timekeeper just above us. And we're underway in round three of the Central Coast Tui's Rugby League competition. And it will be Parfit with the first hit up for the Terrigal Sharks. And he's just brought the ground just over the 10 metre line. Oh, go good one. Sharks made a mistake on their first set last week, so they'll be hoping for a, just a clean set to start this one. And go out to the left hand side. And Feta Welsh will get the first penalty for the Sharks just inside the 10 metres, was a call from the referee. Yep, got there, there, there. Not a bad kick on the far side. I don't want to kick that too far. There's a creek behind that hill. All the way, all the I think what's in it. Good. So the Sharks now, their first opportunity over halfway. Jowett with the first hit up of this set. Number nine, stand down. Marcus Square. Oh, go. There you go, the short side, the left hand side that is, and that was the uh, Hopwood, the 5'8. Oh, go. Nine off Come centre field, Jowett with the ball, linking up with Lewis. Lewis cuts it out, goes to right. Right steps in off his right. And the defence is there. So they're up to the 30 metre line. Keep coming, keep coming. Mooney at dummy half. He goes for a little run, then goes across field, linking up with Lyon. So 18 out from the line. They're coming up on the right hand side through Lewis. Lewis looking to link up there with Wright, but he does a short pass to Lentfa. And this is the last tackle for the Sharks. They come the short side again through Lewis. Lewis puts it on the toe. The fullback's back there, and he's done well to clean that up. And just inside the field of play, Jaden Jones will play it. A fancy haircut uh, Jaden Jones has got. So the Panthers will bring this out of their own territory. 
Adams and look forward. Troy Adams, solidly in heavy contact there from the Sharks. Oh, oh, go! Three. Oh, a spilt ball, so an opportunity for the Sharks. They go on the attack straight away. Hopwood will just take the tackle. Mooney waits for it at dummy half. They go to that short side, the left side through Veta Well. She bumps off one, but eventually brought the ground. He's five metres out from the try line. Wait here. Wait here. Go. One. Goes to Hopwood. Lewis. Lewis does the dummy. Inside pass to Lenfer. Lenfer straightens up. The slow play of the ball for the Sharks. Mooney goes for a run across field. Links up with Hopwood. Short pass there to Vetter Welsh. Vetter Welsh is brought down. He's about two metres out from the Panthers try line. They sit deep to the right. They come this way through Lewis. Lewis to right. Wright does a dummy. And he's wrapped up there by Hayden Green. The ball's come loose though to McDonald. McDonald tries to get away from his opposite number. And he comes. It's only within five metres of the line. Lewis again. Parfit. Parfit backs into the tackle. Last one now for the Sharks. Goes to Hopwood. He'll put this on the tail. It's a grubber kick, but it's fielded well out there on that far side. Looks like Jason Little. In fact, it's Tyson Roberts. Panthers will just bring this out in the territory. Tataki with the hit up. Adams. Just short of the 30, the Panthers. Come this short side, close to the camera, bumps off one. That was length right left on the ground there, but he's recovered. Good solid run there from Munro. Goes back to Moore, the captain coach, inside the 40, but right across to it. And Aiden Wright will bring this back into the Panthers defence. Good tackle down low there from Roberts. Harry King up to the 40, his first touch of the football. This is number 17, Josh Lyon, starting forward today. Schreiber on the bench for the Sharks. They go the short side through Mooney, linking up with Hopwood. Another good tackle there down low. Roberts and Moore in the tackle. His line, Parfit, does a dummy. And he's met there by his opposite number, Tataki. He also helped out there, Munro in the tackle. Last one now for Terry Gull. Now you're holding him in. Hold. 35 out from the Panthers line. Lewis puts this to the sky. Jones is underneath it. The chasers are coming through. And Jones does well to take that. It's met there by Harry King and also Ryan McDonald in the tackle. Come the short side of the Panthers. Just one out at this stage. Three men in the tackle for the Sharks. Bit of a grind so far this match. Five gone. Here's Adams. Been busy early for the Panthers. This is probably his third or fourth hit up. Last tackle now for the Panthers. They haven't really got too far on this set. I want a good kick away. It goes back to Moore. It's not a bad kick, but the wing of Mulligan's underneath it. There's a line of Panthers there to, to greet him. Just on the 40. It's a good run. Good return that from... Uh, from Franklin. Well, he's done a dummy right. He's fooled himself and he's spilt the ball. So the scramble pack, just the shark side of halfway. Whole opportunity here for the Panthers. So Panthers, they uh, enjoyed the buy last week. Probably would have uh, enjoyed the buy this week, being the long weekend. But there's uh, a good crowd here at Berkeley Vale Oval, considering it is a holiday weekend. It's the Panthers trying to move this forward. That's Jack Weir. And Bailey in at dummy half. This is Tataki. Good run there from the big front row. Up. So you go to the right hand side, the big front row, Munro. 
stopped by about four sharks. Plays in that tackle. At the right side. This is Moore. Moore cutting up pass, linking out with Jones. So Jones will play this. The ball's come loose, and the referee's going to call a knock on. So just a loose carry there from Jaden Jones. So unfortunate end of that set there for the Panthers. So this is the Central Coast Tui's Rugby League competition. First time Bar TV Sports have brought you the Central Coast Rugby League. So uh, we're happy to be partners with them in 2019. Round three action coming from Berkeley Vale Oval. The underway. The Sharks will bring this out of their own territory. Aiden Wright. Spilled the ball earlier. Thanks up for it there. Donald, he's lifted up. The ball's come loose. The referee's called six to go. It did look like it was stripped. A good call there from the ref. And McDonald pinches another 12 metres. So right, he'll go for a run from dummy half. He links up there with King. King just gets over halfway. Mooney in a dummy half. Lewis. This is Jowett. Jowett will be put down on the 40. He out the left-hand side through Hopwood again. Does the dummy, then links up with Lyon. Mooney, little run from dummy half, then Parfit. Every contact there over the top from, it was Alex Munro. Not missing. They go at the left hand side again through Hopwood. Lovely cut out pass there to Mulligan. Mulligan trying to get free but can't. Last tackle for the Sharks. Set deep out here to the right. It's put on the toe from Hopwood. It's not a bad looking kick, but uh, it's been spelled out there. Picked up there by McDonald. McDonald's over. And the Sharks have the first try of the afternoon. The referee likes it. He'll point to the spot. 4 0. Terrier Sharks over the Berkeley Vale Panthers. Just unfortunate out there for, uh, looked like it was Jason Little. Would have been a mark in AFL, but uh, unfortunately the ball's popped loose and Ryan McDonald, he won't score too many easier tries than that. So a handy position for Aiden Wright to uh, add the extras. Didn't have much practice last week at home against uh, King Cumber. A good start for the Sharks. Second time down in Panthers territory and they come away with the points. Four points anyway. Aiden Wright will look to convert the McDonald try. It's not a bad strike and it's straightening up and it's over. So six points to nil. Terrigal Sharks over the Berkeley Vale Panthers here at Berkeley Vale Oval. Round three of the Central Coast Rugby League. So we get back underway, it's a sort of shallow restart, goes to the 20 and length is underneath it. And he's met there by three Panthers. I'll bring this out, it uh, looks like it's Bailey Grimm there. Parfit. Wrestle to the ground, more over the top. We go out to the left hand side, Hopwood, linking up with Vetter Welsh. Mooney in there at dummy half. He goes for a half run, then throws it out the back to Lewis. Lewis links up with Lenfer. Lenfer runs straight into weir. The ball's come loose. 
Good shot there from Jack Weir. Also helped out there from Tane Tataki. A scramble pack just the left hand side of halfway. So if you just tune into the action and you're wondering where the co-commentator is, he's on holidays. That's Troy Adams. Takes a tackle right on halfway. Flying solo. Just short of the 40 here, the Panthers. Munro does a dummy to his front row forward. Takes another 10 or so metres. Good run that from Alan Munro. Goes to Adams. Adams goes out the back. And dummy that there from Hayden Green. There was a hit there on Weir and back plate. Weir's back to his feet, which is good news. Here's Alex Moore now. Moore running to the line. Good pass that there up tonight. Good tackle down low. They go out the short side again through Moore. Moore sees something and the ball's gone to ground. Missed opportunity there for the Panthers. But their first time... First, first opportunity there for the Panthers and just goes to straight. So the scramble pack on the 10 metre line. So the scramble pack on the 10. No, Panthers with another opportunity. More goes out the back there to Green. Green, slow pass to Jones. Jones dancing around. And Jones is brought to ground. 12 out from the try line. Mitch Green waits for it at dummy half. Runs across field. Links up with Hayden Green. Green, a bit of a flat pass there to Tataki. Lift the elbow on the tackle and still play on here. As Knight gets it away to Roberts, but he's cleaned up there by Kyle Franklin. Hold here. Hold here. Hold here. So Moore goes in the dummy half. Munro. Here's it pops it out the back to Bailey. Bailey's got a bit of space here. Links up with Moore. And Moore's brought to the ground. They're about two metres out from the Sharks' try line. Can the Panthers hit back? Scamp from dummy half there from Bailey. And the referee's going to call held up. Oh, hold on. I'll just go back to the 10 metre mark. So, a little run there from Bailey from dummy half, but just held up. Goes to Moore. Moore to Green. Green short pass to Weir, and he's lifted in the tackle and slammed into the turf here at Berkeley Vale Oval. And the ball's come loose from that, and Parford will go for a run now for the Sharks. So a good defensive set that from the Sharks. Mine. Go to the left hand side, Hopwood steps back into the uh, the defensive line, gets away from one, gets away from another, but uh, Adams eventually brings him to the turf on the 40. Mooney, another run from dummy half, pops the pass to Parfit. Lewis put this on the toe. It's not a bad kick in the space. Jones has got a bit of work to do and gets a nice bounce. And he runs straight into McDonald, the try scorer. They tried to pinch the ball there. And the referee has called a bit of a high shot there. I think Harry King is the man penalised there for the high shot. Just a little bit too high. So a let off there for the Panthers. just booted over the back of the crowd into the high school behind us. And uh, we've got no ball boys here at Berkeley Vale Oval. And we're also a ball down because that one may not come back for a while. And we're back underway as Jack Weir takes a hit up. He's met heavily there from Parfit and Jowett. Troy Knight 
Becky, 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 hold, hold, go to the ball. So Munro again. It looks like uh, John Carroll's moved into dummy half here for the Panthers. And a few changes out there. More inside pass there. A good run that to uh, Kai Knight. Carroll in again at dummy half. They go the short side through Moore. Moore back in, inside the Jones and he spilt it. Jowett was up quickly on him. And Jones couldn't hang on to it. So another scrum. This time 35 out from the Terrigal try line. So 6 0 to the Sharks. They try to Ryan McDonald. Players just taking their time with this uh, this scrum. Parfitts, he's going to the sideline. Might be a bit of uh, but no, he's coming back now to pack the scrum. So everyone's confused out there. And eventually the scrum will pack. Not now, they're just one short. And Kai Franklin becomes the sixth man in the scrum and we're back underway. Lewis looks up with Wright. He goes out the back. Done well to pick that up there as McDonald. McDonald's almost through. And the Sharks will have their first tackle just over the 40. He's length up. Carroll in there to help out with uh, Tataki. Lyon. To the left hand side, Hopwood steps back in off his left. He gets away from a couple. He saw a little bit of space. Gets the pass away to Mooney. Mooney's still going, so a good run there from the Sharks. 20 out from the try line. Numbers both sides. They come the short side through Lewis. Lewis puts this on the toe. And it's filled a well there from uh, Jaden Jones, but he's going to be driven back. And eventually, the referee calls Hill. And he'll play it five out from his own line. Carroll in a dummy half. So Bailey looks like he's moved into a first receiver role. More cut out pass there to Roberts. Roberts is brought down. Well, eventually he'll be brought to ground just over the 20. Could play the ball more in there at dummy half. Last tackle now for the Panthers. Green will play it. He'll back to Moore. It's a high wobbly kick down there for Aiden Wright. He does well to take it. Wright will straighten up. So King in a little run from dummy half. Actually, it's Kyle Franklin. Takes it up to halfway. Schreiber started on the bench today, takes it up to the 40. Lewis inside pass to Jowett. Jowett runs straight at Weir and also Adams in there to make the tackle. Come the short side through Lewis again, cut out pass to McDonald and McDonald slips over. Easy tackle there for Hayden Green. Last one now for the Sharks. Lewis will put this high across. Not a bad kick. Chasers are coming through. It's tapped there from Mulligan. It's been picked up by Franklin. And Franklin dancing around. He's still got possession. Looking to straighten up. Pops the pass out the back to nobody. Vetter Welsh is there to pick it up. Vetter Welsh bumps away from one. And eventually he's brought to the ground. And that'll be a handover. So the Panthers survive that attacking rate. And bring this out through Van Beveren. Good run now from the, the winger or the centre coming in to help out, Jason Little. Wait here, wait here, wait here, wait here, go. 
Adams. Comes in there to Lewis in there to make the tackle. Also helping out there was the number 12, Whitefoot. They come to the short side. Green with the kick. It's not a bad little kick. It's going to find touch, is it? No. It takes a little right hand turn, and Aiden Wright's there to pick it up. He's got his opposite number, Jones, there. Makes a very good tackle. Also helping out was Mitch Green. The Sharks now under a little bit of pressure. Panthers will want to keep the Sharks down this end of the field, not give away a penalty. And Schreiber goes straight into tonight. Lyon. Lyon does a little dummy. He had Jowett on his outside, but just took the tackle. Last one for Terrigal. He's fallen on the ground there as he went to get up to play it. And uh, the referee's seen a little bobble, so we'll have another scrum. And we're just over halfway in this first half, and it's Terrigal Wombrel Sharks leading the Berkeley Vale Panthers 6 0. Try to Ryan McDonald. Things again, not in any hurry to pack this scrum. Eventually, more will feed it. And this is Jason Little, wrapped up there from Lentfer. Carroll goes into dummy half, links up here with Hayden Green, and that one's a bit high. The referee's seen it. So the Panthers now will get a piggyback deep into the Sharks' territory here. They're running, I guess you say they're running to the scrub, the bush end of Berkeley Vale Oval. So we'll have a full set on the 30 metre line. Little will take the tap. And he'll take the run as well, run straight into Lenfer and Lewis. Aiden Green out the back there to Van Beveren. Van Beveren looking to pop it out the back, but eventually just takes the tackle just inside the 20. More, more. He's got the inside runner there of uh, Brady Green. The ball's come loose, and the Sharks survive. So Hopwood running to the line. He's got away from one Hopwood. Hopwood's got more coming across. Good run that from Kai Hopwood. Kyle Franklin now coming in off his wing. Scott Schreiber, another run. They're inside the Panthers' territory now. They're coming out this short side. Goes to Lewis. He's got three runners on his right-hand side and just kicks this down into the corner. Jaden Jones has a bit of work to do again. And he's wrestled to the ground there from Harry King and also Ryan McDonald in the tackle. And now the Panthers will bring us out of their territory again. It's been a good little arm wrestle this between the fifth and sixth place teams in the Central Coast Rugby League. It's Brady Green, Jersey 15. Bailey back in there at dummy half. Jersey 20's Liam Scott. Couldn't fit into the number 17, so he's in Jersey 20 now as Bailey does a kick from dummy half and Aiden Wright again underneath it. And the referee's seen a little mistake there from Aiden Wright. It's a good pressure from the Berkeley de Fail defence. Waylon Van Beveren in there, helped out by Matt Bailey. So another scramble pack on the 35. Golden opportunity here for the Panthers. Go out to the right hand side. Chris Brady will go for a little run from the base of the scrum. 
So Bailey, and he gives this here to Scott. Good run that. You're up to the 20 metre zone. They come out to this left hand side. Hayden Green out the back. It goes to Jones. Another cut out pass here to Mitch Green. Mitch Green will just take the tackle. 18 out from the try line. Can the Panthers get one here? Hayden Green. Van Beveren, he had a little bit of a look there. And it's popped out. And Josh Lyon is there to pick up the crumbs. So the Panthers just cannot hang on and complete a full set down on the Sharks' territory. Ryan Jow will play this on the 40. So Bailey Grimm's out there on the field for Terrigal. Jersey 16, playing at a dummy half now. They go at the left-hand side. Hopwood popped out the back from Vetter Welsh. They're still going here. It's a good run, that, from Josh Lyon. Pumped away from a couple. So go to the left again, Kai Hopwood. He straightens up. He beats a couple. He's done that every time. He's touched the ball. He seems to beat the first defence. Goes to Lewis now. Out the back to Wright. And Wright's had a, a little bit of a bow peep there. And the ball's come out. So both teams now are uh, guilty of just getting into good field position and spilling the ball at crucial moments. I'm sure both coaches will have something to say to their troops at halftime. Alex Moore, the captain coach of Berkeley Vale, and Dave Lyons, the, cap well, the coach of Terrigal. So the scramble pack just shy of the 30. Jaden Jones fends away from one, bumps away from the tackle of Jowett, and eventually he's brought down. And Bailey Grimms around the boot laces. He lassoed Jaden Jones there. There's some heavy contact there on Brody Green. Little goes into dummy half, links up with Moore. Inside pass here. It's a good run here from Kai Knight. So Knight will play this. They're 41 out from the line. Bit of a dodgy play, the ball. Little dancing around. So ben, Van Beveren in there at dummy half now. Haley Green. Short pass to Weir. The defence is there wrapping up. Parfit and Lenfer. Last tackle now. They go the short side here. Green puts this on the toe. It's got through there, but Wright's there to clean it up. Right, we tackled on the 10. As the lights come on here at Berkeley Vale Oval. The Sharks bring this out of their own territory. And a little dummy there from right. They come down the short side. Hopwood. Here and Bailey make the tackle. Hopwood, slow to his feet, not happy with something in that tackle. Lewis, here's Parfit. Parfit runs straight into Adams and Liam Scott making the tackle. Bailey Grimm, oh, that's a little bit forward there to Hopwood. Hopwood's got through a half gap, flicks it out the back, could have gone forward. Referee calls play on and Jaden Jones is there to pick it up. Spins out of one, spins out of another, he's still going Jaden Jones. Good recovery that from the Panthers. Another opportunity gone begging for the Sharks, just pushing the pass. As Carroll comes in off his wing. Lenford making the tackle, helping out with Schreiber. Hayden Green, Alex Moore running to the line, looking for something. He tries to break the line, but a good tackle down low from Kai Hopwood. Hayden Green. Van Beveren, he's just passed one into the chin of Liam Scott. As play on, says the referee. Weir's got a bit of space. It wasn't a bad option. And uh, Matt Bailey was unmarked on the wing. Ryan McDonald stuck out the mitt. I'll tell you what, if he caught it, he only had Jones in front of him. He would have backed him. And another scramble pack. 
So we're in the final 10 minutes of this first half of the Central Coast Rugby League. Big shout out to the Berkeley Vale sponsors. Bano Bay Bolo and also Whitey's Right Price Tyres, a major sponsor of the Berkeley Vale Panthers. So, looks like Hayden Green's trying to get into the scrum there and feed that. Eventually he gets it underway as Kai Knight makes a run. And we brought down just inside the 40. Back here, Bailey here. So more with it. And a short pass there to Roberts. That's good leg drive there from Tyson Roberts. Still trying to pinch another meter or two. Eventually he's called to play it. That's Brody Green. Very good run here from Brody Green. They're stacked out here to the left hand side. They come this way. Hayden Green. Short ball to Alex Moore. Cut out pass. It was meant for Matt Bailey. In the end, it was just gone straight to the ball boy in the touch. And another scramble pack. So 6 0 to the Terrigal Sharks. The winner of this will cement fifth spot for a week at least. So Lewis feeds it and Grimm, he just ran straight on the back of uh, Ryan McDonald there. And I think he lost metres. So now McDonald will go for a little run from dummy half. And Aiden Wright will do the same. He's seen a bit of a hole, but it's closed quickly. Here in Mitch Green with the tackle. Michael Parfitt, he only knows one way. Straight up the middle. Grim goes out to Hopwood. Hopwood, a nice little pass out there to the number four Mulligan. Mulligan pops it away to Franklin. Franklin's brought down on the 40. Last tackle now for the Sharks. Vetta Welsh. Arms away from a couple. He does a dummy. Vetta Welsh, he's gone straight up the middle. Good tackle from behind from Van Beveren. There's still play on here. The flick out the back has been towed through. It's just going to beat Harry King into touch. Uh, uh, that would have been some try if that came off. Good run from Veta Welsh. Uh, flick out the back. Uh, quick thinking. Uh, I think it was Lewis. Todd Lewis with the kick. So heading into the final five minutes of the first half. Jason Little with a run. Brought down on the 20. So Mitch Green has gone, or Mitch Bailey I should say, has gone back into dummy half. There's Greens and Baileys everywhere. So that's Brody Green. He'll play the ball. This is Liam Scott. Good run. Need a couple more runs like that, the Panthers. Bailey to Moore. Inside pass that. Did well to hang on to that Kai Knight. So Bailey, they go the short side through Moore. And he just tries to drive this one to the sideline. Aiden Wright traps it with the shins and picks it up. And then he's been picked up and driven in on the turf. Good crowd in here at Berkeley Vale Oval for this uh, Easter holiday period. Here's Jowett. So Grimm finds Parfit. Parfit steps around Weir, but Weir comes again and wraps him up. Come this short side again. Lewis oh, runs straight into the shoulder of Hayden Green. I don't think that was the right idea, but... Eventually he's brought to ground. Last tackle now for the Panthers. Goes back to Kai Hopwood. He'll put this to the sky. It's not a bad kick. 
Roberts is underneath it and does well to take it. And Kai Hookwood's there to make the tackle with the help of Vedder Welsh. So Alex Moore finds himself out in the centres. So Jones, he's Van Beveren, runs across field. So not making metres off this set of the Panthers. It's just sort of throwing the ball around but not going forward. Jack Weir decides to change things up. But they still only make a couple of metres off that play. Bailey will go for a run from dummy half. Last tackle for the Panthers. So Jaden Jones with the kicking duties. And kicks it straight down the middle. That's a dodgy one here for Aiden Wright. I think he got a total. it. I don't think he might have spilled it. The referee says, no, play on. So Aidan Wright was a little bit lucky there. Hopwood goes into dummy half. Links up with uh, Mulligan. Mulligan will play this. 25 out from his own line. Bodies are tangled there. It'll be a slow play of the ball. Good run here from... The other centre, Ryan McDonald. Not used to seeing him on that side of the paddock. Calling for a penalty. Doesn't come. Ryan Jowett. He's fallen, looks for the offload, but uh, no one was ready for it. We've got two dummy halves here. I thought we might have seen the mousetrap. Todd Lewis with the kick down into the corner. It's running away from Jones. Is it going to hold up? I think it is. It's not a bad kick from Lewis. King's there to make the tackle. Over the top, help from Lenfer. Thank you, Ellie. Wait. God, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Carroll met head on there from Schreiber. Number 10, stand up. Oh, yeah. Go. Number 9, don't get in the way. Panthers again, bringing this out of their own territory. Run away now. Hold. So what have the Panthers got there? Going to throw the ball around in their own territory and Moore will take the tackle. Back here, back here. Roberts in at dummy half. Kai Knight with a run. Last tackle for the Panthers, and they're just over their own 30. So the Sharks' defence has been pretty strong. Bailey, little kick over the top for himself. He just needs to bounce Bailey. It's a shocking kick. Second attempt of a kick, and uh, it's been cleaned up by Aiden Wright. And Aiden Wright will just try and go straight through the middle of them. He's still going right. Eventually, he's tackled by Aiden Green. So we're into the final minute of this first half. Hotwood, Lewis, cut out pass to McDonald. McDonald's got a bit of space. He tries to step inside. We we just clipped him. McDonald's still going. He's just brought down there by Brady Green. So Lenfer in a dummy half waits for it. Finds Lewis. Lewis does a little dummy of a kick, linking up with Hopwood. Finds Ryan McDonald again, and it's gone out the back. Bit of hot potato stuff as Lenfer's cleaned it up. And Lenfer will eventually take the tackle, and that'll be half time. So at half time, it's Terry Gall, six. Panthers nil. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back with the second half of the Central Coast Tui's Rugby League.
Welcome back here to the second half. Here at Berkeley Vale Oval, there's the Terrigal Wombrel Sharks. Six, leading the Berkeley Vale Panthers, nil. It's been a bit of a grind this one so far. Both teams have had opportunities, but it's just been that, that last effort that's come astray. So we'll see what the second half provides here. We're about to get underway for the second period. Referee blows time on for the second half. Here, round three, the match of the round for the Central Coast Rugby League. And Brody Grimm with the first hit up. It's Waylon Van Beveren. As his first hit up of this second half. And Bailey back in at dummy half. He throws it to Liam Scott, who just charges and takes about four shots with him. Good run from Liam Scott. Coming out this right-hand side again, Kai Knight tries to straighten up. He's brought down on the 40. There's the Moor inside the 40. Not a bad kick. Wright's got a bit of work to do. He almost slipped out in the touch. Great work there from Aiden Wright. He's met there by Tyson Roberts and also Alex Moore, the kicker. Mulligan waits for it at dummy half. He was going to go for a little run, but uh, Kyle Franklin decides I'll have a run. So Bailey Grimmie, he's still out there at dummy half. Scott Schreiber. So go out to the right-hand side again. Inside pass from Lewis. And Jack Lentford driving just over halfway now. Don't go, Ellie. Wait. Wait. Go. Oh. Parfit. Not sure if Michael Parfit had a break in that first half, the front row. Lewis will put this to the sky. It's a difficult one out there. Looks like Jones is now playing out the wing. Very close to the sideline there, but uh, he's done well to stay in the field of play. It's John Carroll. He takes a hit up. Jason Little now. He's bent backwards in that tackle. Finds number 15, Brady Green. Still 35 out. Bailey goes for a little run from dummy half. Links up with Moore. Kai Knight over in it then. Pinches another eight or so metres. Last tackle now for the Panthers. Still not up to halfway in that set. It's back to Moore. He's pressured. Now pops the pass to Carroll. Carroll gets a kick to it. It's a wobbly old kick for Aiden Wright. Wright will bring this. He gets over the 20. He's met their head on from Waylon Van Beveren. Matt Bailey also on the tackle. There's Harry King. He takes a run. McDonald goes for a little run from dummy half. The lone try scorer in this one. Wait here. Wait here. Wait here. Go. Lewis. Jowett. He straightens up. Brought the ground by Scott and Brody Green. Hopwood does the dummy, links up with Vetter Welsh. Moore's there to make the tackle. Last tackle now for the Sharks. They'll play this on the 30. Bailey Grimm comes to short side. Hopwood puts it on the toe. Chasing through is Mulligan. He just needs the bounce here, Mulligan. And the ball's going to beat everyone dead, but the referee has seen something here. Both players were fighting for the football. Could have been pushed into touch. We'll just see what the referee's going to decide here. Harry Mulligan, he, I don't think he would have got there. Anyway, the bounce was a bit of a shock of the second one. Jones is being spoken to by the referee. And it looks like we're going... 
to the, uh, the centre of the post for a penalty try here. Well, try to the Sharks. I'm guessing you put that down to Harry Mulligan. And, uh, yeah, a surprise there, but look, they're both going for the ball, and uh, it's easy for us up here on the uh, on the bank to say that uh, the referee's called a penalty try, and the Sharks get their second, so they go to a 10 point to nil lead. <laughs> Both players have said they were uh, wrestling for the football. And uh, anyway, it's come up in the Sharks' favour. So Aiden Wright will line this one right up in front. I think the Panthers' players are having a fair bit to say behind the posts. So Aiden Wright has the extras. So it's now 12 points to nil. Terrigal Wombrel Sharks over the Berkeley Vale Panthers here on the Central Coast Rugby League. Match of the round, round three. So Panthers will see what they're made of now. Down by 12, there's still plenty of time in this second Tight. half. Ways away. Give me the suckers right now. Go on, Matty. Give me the suckers. Tyson, give us a wave. So Alex Moore's got the kicking to it. He got the football. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll see what the Panthers have got now that could be forgiven to be a bit deflated after that. We're back underway. And then McDonald gives this to Shriver who just charges straight back into the Panthers defence. Back here, back here. Good tackle from Carroll and Roberts. Here's Parfit. Runs into Weir. Carroll in there again to help out with the tackle. So Grimm goes out to the right hand side. Jowett. Nine Jowett. Gets up to the 40. Go. Grim, he sees a little gap there, a few lazy markers, but all the good work. Well, we've got a penalty now. Grim passed it to a Panthers player who was ruled offside. So a full set of six coming up for the Sharks, deep inside the Panthers' territory. Lewis will find touch. We're back here. About 20 out from the Panthers line. Full set coming up here. Looks, looks like we're uh, still looking for some ball boys too in this game. It's Parfit runs straight into Liam Scott. He bounced off that attempted tackle, luckily. Come out to the left-hand side, Hopwood. Out, well, he shapes the pass and eventually just takes the tackle on the 10. Hold here. Hold here. Go. Two. And Schreiber. Schreiber, he sees a little gap, but it's closed quickly from John Carroll, the winger, playing in the centre of the field now. And there's Kai Hopwood. Goes back inside to right. Right sees a half. Little opening right still going. Brought down a metre out from the try line. Go. Go. We go into the right hand side. Lewis runs himself. Lewis, there's about four or five Panthers players in that tackle. He looks like he's got it down, Lewis. He has got it down. Well, there was Panthers jerseys everywhere. And somehow, Tom Lewis gets over for the Sharks. Third try. 16 0 of a kick to come. So still just over half an hour to go in this second half. And two quick tries for Terry Gull. Sees the lead blow out now to 16. Aiden Wright, he'll have his hardest attempt at conversion this afternoon. What's left of the afternoon. It's uh, getting fairly dark here at Berkeley Vale Oval. Yeah. 
So Aidan Wright looking to add the extras. Panthers just need to regroup here. Bit of a harsh has come over this Berkeley Vale crowd. You should go home. He strikes it nicely right. And the touches like it as well. So it's three from three for Aiden Wright. And the score now is 18 points to nil. Terry Gill over Berkeley Vale here on the Central Coast. Two is Rugby League match of the round. So the trainer, he gets the football. Wright's got the kicking tee. Yes, Azra Sims. Go on, Azra. Aaron Sims, go, bro. Date night with Azra Sims. Come on, So Alex Moore with the restart. Is deep down that far corner. And on the right, Michael Parfit will take the first carry. Panthers, they're still in this. There's plenty of time left in this game, but uh, you sense that that uh, last try may have just taken the wind out of the Panthers. Wait here. Wait here. So Schreiber's slow to play the ball. He's keeping away from that tackle. There's Vetter Welsh. He runs hard and he's hit by three Panthers in the tackle. Hold here. Hold. So Scott Schreiber's gone straight to the bench. Ryan Jowett, he takes another carry. Keep coming, keep coming. Just play it. Four. We go to the right hand side. Lewis straightens and puts his a bit of a banana kick towards the sideline. Jaden Jones is there to pick it up. Jaden Jones gets away from a couple there. It's a good run from the fullback. Back here, back here. Very good run from Jaden Jones. And Panthers now have an opportunity. He's green, running across the field, steps past a couple, but eventually brought the ground on the 40. Left hand side. Oh, go. And Bailey in there at dummy half. Moore, Moore looking for runners. He finds Brady Green, who pops that out the back. And Van Beveren will take the tackle just short of the 40. Oh, yeah. Go, Matty. Go. Go out to the left hand side. As we up, and straight into Parfit. Dias is on the field for the Terrigal Sharks. A slow play the ball from Jack Weir. This is Alan Munro. It's his first carry this second half. Last tackle now for the Panthers. Here's the Moore. Moore links up with Hayden Green. He puts this on the tail. It's a shallow kick. And in the end, it was an easy pick up for Kyle Franklin. And so a lead off there for the Sharks. <laughs> And he looks like he's been injured here, Kyle Franklin. The referee's just called time off. He's just uh, clutching at the back of the head. So uh, both sides will uh, enjoy this little breather. Hopefully... Uh, Young Carl Franklin's not too bad. He's uh, getting to his feet now, which is good news. And also, it uh, looks like Jack Weir is coming from the field as well for Berkeley Vale Panthers. So, just waiting for the referee to blow time on. Jack Weir has just gone off the field. That's what the hold-up is for. And we're back underway now. Looks like Max Gordon on the field for Terrigal. He'll play this on the 20. Almost dropped the ball as he got up the plate. Michael Parford again. So we go into the right hand side. There's Josh Dias playing out wide. He'll take the tackle. So Bailey Grimm sees an opening there at dummy half. He gets away from one, but he's eventually tackled from Van Beveren. Last tackle now for Terrigal. Goes back for Lewis. That's not a bad kick from uh, Todd Lewis. But uh, Jaden Jones is back there to pick it up, and he's brought down on the 20. One. 
Good little run there from dummy half. Looks like it's Mitch Green. Back here. Hold. Hold. Go. Two. Brody Green now for hit up and he's driven back. Hold. Hold here. Go. So Brody Green again. Looks the last carry and decides he'll have another one. And Alex Moore running to the line, looking for Knight. Knight's overrun it. And Moore still going. Does a dummy. Gets away from Parfitt's Alex Moore. Throws it out the back and Van Beveren's put it down. So another opportunity for the Panthers. They create something and it's just that last pass. So the scramble pack on the 40 metre zone. I'll do your deal. No, no, no. Do your deal. You play and I'll rep. Good deal, isn't it? So if you tuned into the stream, let us know where you're watching from. What you're doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. We've got a man of the match sponsor, Ainsworth, on board today. So we'll announce that at the end of the, uh, the game. If you're watching on Facebook, on the Bar TV Rugby League Facebook, why not let us know who your thoughts are for the man of the match. As the Sharks bring this out, and there's a short pass from Hopwood. Mulligan will take the tackle. Could have been called forward, but uh, not to be. Aiden Wright, he's screaming for a quick play the ball. Here come the short side, Kai Hopwood. He'll just take the tackle. Kai Knight strapped him up. We've got to play injured. So Tyson Roberts has just copped a little bit of a head, head knock. He looks to be in a bit of pain here. Tyson Roberts. So the Sharks with... Uh, Three tries in the bank to speak of so far. One to Ryan McDonald in the first half. And a penalty try to Harry Mulligan, followed by one from Todd Lewis. How I don't know how he got over. And it seemed to be plenty of Panthers defence. Somehow Todd Lewis burrowed his way over for a try. You worry about what you're going to do. Okay? There's enough things to be worried about. You need, it's not your concern. So uh, while well, we've got this little bit of a break in play, I think our sponsors of the Berkeley Vale Panthers, Bado Bay Bolo, and also Whitey's Right Price Tyres. They're the major sponsor of the Berkeley Vale Panthers, Whitey's Right Price Tyres. <laughs> With local guys supporting local sport, and you thank them very much. And so we're back underway. Hold here! Hold here! Hold! Go! We've got another oh, sort of spillage there, but the referee's called six to go. Thank you, Connor. Hold here, hold here. Go. So the Sharks have another opportunity as Josh Dias goes for a run. He's not going too far, although he's still wrestling in the tackle. Eventually he's brought to ground. Penalty, penalty. Now we've got a penalty here. The calls come from the touchy. So we've still got 25 to go in this one. Apologies, the, uh, the scoreboard's got the gremlins at the moment, so we'll try and get that sorted for you. But, uh, there's still 25 to go in this one. And Grimm goes into dummy half. There's a few dummies and finds Hopwood. Hopwood steps in on his left, runs across field, bumps away from Van Beveren, and comes again and with Bailey wraps him up. Wait here. Wait here. Go. Go. Lewis does a dummy, goes out the back to right. He had to stop to grab that right running across field and he's wrapped up there from John Carroll. Also Moore helping out. A sloppy play the ball or attempt to play the ball and the referee's going to say, we'll have a scrum, thanks. So still 25 to go in this one. Be very careful. Yes, you are. I'm telling you, be very careful. Be very, very careful. Oh, 
Yeah. Scramble pack on the tent. <laughs> so, as I said, there's still 24 minutes to go in this, this match. Get in. John, get in. Guys take their time with the play the ball and Van Beveren gets things back underway. Now we've got a spellish from Van Beveren. He's appealing to the ref. There was a hand in it. But uh, Mr. Bowen, the referee, will have none of that. And we'll have a scrum feed to the Sharks. Ten out from the Panthers line. So an opportunity to get their fourth. 18-0 to the Sharks. Still 23 left in this contest. So Todd Lewis, he picks up the, the pill and will feed the scrum now. And he's set deep to this left-hand side. Although Hopwood runs around to the right now, as we'll say that. Linking up there out wide is Ryan McDonald. He steps back in off his right. And he's brought down about three metres out from the line. They're scrambling here, the Panthers. Hopwood goes from dummy half. And he's brought down inches away from the try line. Hopwood on his back, slow play the ball. McDonald, McDonald straightens up and he runs straight into Bailey. So Mooney in the dummy half, another slow play the ball for the Sharks. Is Lewis, Lewis dancing across field, links up with Wright, Wright running across then links up here with Mulligan. A good tackle that low there from Kai Knight. Appealing for a penalty here from the referee was right. Vetter Welsh spins out of the tackle. Vetter Welsh and he's brought down about a metre out from the try line. Last tackle now for the Sharks. Bailey at dummy half. Here's Lewis. A long pass here to Hopwood. Hopwood. Well, he's belted that one. That's, uh, that's gone dead in goal up at Wyong's ground. Running up, mate. Running up, running up. Running up. Certainly a lot of power on that kick. In the middle. In the middle. So Mitch Green gets us back underway. Nine, stand up! Right here, right here, got it, do it. And that's uh, Troy Adams back on the field. He, I think that'll be his first touch this second half. No, no, go back, no, no, go back and play it. He's just gone off the mark there, so uh, the referee makes him go back and play it. Play the ball one. So the Panthers have got just over 20 minutes to go in this contest. They'll need to score a try shortly, you'd think. Now Scott throws a bit of a hospital pass there to Alex Moore. He might remind him about that on training on Tuesday. Moore slow to his feet. Here's Munro. Moore still down on his haunches behind the plate. Carroll's back in here at dummy half. Hayden Green with the kicking duties now. Just stabs this down in the corner. That's going to find touch. About two metres out from the Sharks' try line. So, pretty handy kick that from Hayden Green. Considering their captain coach is down in back plate. He's still receiving treatment on halfway. Back play, Robbie. got a home. Now the referee's going to call time off. So the scramble pack on the 10. Three tries for the Sharks. Ryan McDonald in the first half. They led 6 0. In the second half, a penalty try to Harry Mulligan. And quickly followed by one from Todd Lewis. And three from three for Aidan Wright. So just waiting for uh, Alex Moore to get back into the. The line of defence for the Panthers. <laughs> so we'll need a good set here in defence here, the Panthers. Go in! We're back underway, the ball's been spilt. And uh, King was back there to pick it up. In fact, it was uh, Franklin. Jowett runs into Adams, his opposite number, 13. Helping out also was John Carroll. 
Lewis. A bit of a flat pass that for uh, Hopwood. He had to stop for it, and he's just been smothered by the Panthers' defence. Going on the short side again, and there's the intercept. So an opportunity here for the Panthers now. Just needed a stroke of luck. Can they put points on as Scott fumbles that one and manages to get the pass away? Bailey takes the tackle now. And 20 out from the Sharks try line. Another dummy here is the number three, Jason Little. He saw a half gap and closed quickly. They're five out, the Panthers. A slow play the ball again. It's not what the doctor ordered. Hayden Green. Alex Moore now runs to the line, links up there with the big 13, looking to pop the pass out. He can't. Eventually, he's brought down. Eight out from the try line. Carroll in at dummy half. Here's Moore. Links up with Hayden Green. Hayden Green here, the Brody Green. A good tackle there, one on one. Todd Lewis. Last tackle for the Panthers. Ben, Ben, now you're off, now you're off. Running from dummy half goes Bailey. He could be over here. The defence is there. The Panthers are over. Berkeley Vale get their first try of the night. And the referee, we're just waiting for confirmation. And he's drilled it now. So the Panthers are on the board. It's 18 4 for kick to come. And a good little scamper from dummy half. Says the Panthers get their first of the night, so they're back in it. 18 to go in this contest. An important kick coming up here. So that's it. One of those awkward kicks. You're not right in front or you're not right on the sideline. So uh, we'll see how he goes with this one. And he's waved away, so it remains 18 points to four. So it could be proved costly a little later on. The Sharks will take their time with the restart. The Panthers are on the board. So the Sharks, they're back for the restart, but we don't have a, a rugby league ball at the moment. So one's in the high school and another one's on the roof of the uh, the dressing sheds. You know, the referee's going to call time off. So we might have to um, pinch a football from uh, one of the spectators or something. We've got, a, we've got a basketball. Can we use a basketball? So now the trainers are uh, scampering from the football and um, Kyle Franklin, the winger, he's just gone down to the corner because he's seen one down there. So we'll get play back on the way shortly. The beauty of, of country rugby league. And so the referee, he calls time back on. Aiden Wright will get proceedings back underway. And a high restart down into the shadows of the Berkeley Vale Oval on the far side. Can the Panthers get back to back tries here? Van Beveren. He's still driving. He's had a bit of a mixed bag tonight. It's Alex Munro. Takes him up to the 40. Alex Moore, short pass there. And forwards now. They've got their tails up now as they're up to the, well, just short of the halfway. Carroll in there at dummy half. Here's Moore again. Moore straightens up. He links up with Hayden Green. The defence is there to wrap him up. Better Welsh. Last tackle now for the Panthers. They come out of the short side. Moore. Well, the chase is on side. It's questionable. It's a high kick and coming down with it was Aiden Wright. Aiden Wright's got a man outside him. It's Mulligan. Mulligan scored plenty like this last week. He puts it on the toe. We've got a foot race here. He just needs to bounce his Hayden Mulligan. He gets it. Harry Mulligan runs around to improve it. 
and the Sharks get their fourth try. Great stuff from Harry Mulligan, but it was all started from Aidan Wright. And the Sharks go out to a 22 points to four lead with 15 to go here at Berkeley Vale Oval. He scored a couple of long efforts last week, Harry Mulligan. And he does pretty much the same there. He had a lot of work to do. He backed himself and he, he gets himself a double. So the Panthers, they did well to fight back and the Sharks just get away from him again. So it's now 22-4. Hayden Wright, he should convert this to make it 24-4. So Wright is taking his time with the kick. He makes no mistake, so it's now 24 to 4. The Sharks over the Panthers here on the Central Coast. Tui's Rugby League match of the round. Hope you're enjoying the, the stream here on Bar TV Rugby League. Paul Arendelle in commentary with you tonight as we head down towards the final 10 in this clash. At least more will get things back underway. Deep kick to, to restart. Oh, that's been spilt there from Hopwood. Don't put him in first slip. And the Panthers have an opportunity to come back. How many times do you see that in rugby league? From the restart. The team that scored, they just switch off for that second and cough up possession so the Panthers have an opportunity here 12 to go Carroll will feed it He'll spread deep here onto the left dodgy pass to Moore, Green cuts out one and links up with Jones Jones has a whole heap of blue jerseys in front of him and he'll take the tackle they're 10 out from the line here's Bailey linking up here with Knights Still five out from the line now, the Panthers. Bailey's in there at dummy half, the short side. But they go out to the left. Here's the big 20, Liam Scott. Scott trying to get his arm free, trying to find the line. He's just short. That's a dodgy play, the ball. Bailey throws it back to Moore. Moore out the back here to Green. Green's got a bit of space here. Aiden Green could be over. He looks like he's over. The supporters down there in that corner like it. The referee likes it as well. Hayden Green gets the Panthers' second try of the night. That's 24-10 with the kick to come. Or 24-8, I should say, with the kick to come. you, Matty Bailey! And the Panthers are just starting to put a few things together here. Is there time left? Sharks in the end goal have done well to, to lead this whole match, but Panthers have got a bit of. Have they got something? The locals here, they're enjoying this contest, even though they're behind. Maybe they can sense a comeback. So Alex Moore, the captain coach, about five in from touch. It's a hush over the crowd. He strikes it nicely, but it's going across the face, so it remains 24 points to eight here. The Sharks over the Panthers here in the Central Coast. Tui's Rugby League match of the round. Hope you're enjoying the coverage.
So Aiden Wright, he's got the kicking tee, but we're just waiting on a, a football. There's one, just hiding behind the referee there. So Aiden Wright will get things back underway. It's a deep restart. It's a difficult one there for uh, Van Beveren, taking that in the shadows, and he just charges back into the line, and there's three Sharks defenders there to, to greet him. Panthers now bring this out through Knight. So Bailey's back in there at dummy half. There's, that's Tataki. Have to be careful every time he runs the ball up high with that forearm. There's, there's a bit of a half break there from Alex Moore. Just needed somebody on his outside. So Jones goes in at dummy half. He'll pinch a couple more metres, runs across field. Linking up with support, support finds Van Beferen. Yes, 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 yes. And Lyons comes over the top and wraps him up. Last tackle for the Panthers. They've made plenty on this set as Jones goes again from dummy half. Looks like we're back out there on the field. In fact, it's uh, Troy Adams. And that's a disappointing end of that set of six. It's the first time I reckon the Panthers have made over 60 metres from a set. It's taken them 70 minutes to do so. Let go now! Hold here, hold here. Go. So 24-8 to the Sharks. Max Gordon takes a hit up. Wait here, wait here, wait here. Go. So they're coming up to the left-hand side. Hopwood inside pass to Vetter Welsh. Liam Scott well, and Tutaki line him up. He pops the ball free, free here to Aiden Wright. Aiden Wright will play this on the 40. A bit of a dodgy play the ball. Mooney was trying to milk a penalty. It doesn't come his way and that ball's going to go dead. So we'll come back out to the 20. So we're into the final 10 minutes here. Right here. Right here. So Tataki gets us back underway. Come on, Hold here. Hold here. Go. Go. And go out to the left hand side, Van Beveren, and the referee's just ruled six again there. Come on, so like the first tackle on their own 40. Knight. Fine Knight. He's been busy for the Panthers. Here, Ryan, Ryan. There's Alex Moore again, runs to the line, links up here with Alan Munro. Munro will take the tackle. 45 out from the Sharks try line. Have the Panthers got a third in them? Moore again runs to the line, links up with Bailey, goes out the back to Hayden Green. Green looking up there with Knight. Knight finds John Carroll. And that ball's just going straight into the hands of Harry King. Just rush that last play in that set. So King will play this on his 20. As Ryan McDonald palms away from one. And he's brought down eventually. So Lewis finds Dias. Josh Dias will play this. Just short of 30. The ball's come loose. And the referee says, you've just fumbled that. And we'll have a scrum. So that there's just a bit of push and shove there as the scrum's about to pack. The Panthers oh, want a quick scrum to pack where the Sharks just trying to slow things down a bit. So they're down by 16, the Panthers in front of a very strong home crowd here at Berkeley Vale Oval. Might go home disappointed, but they'll be a bit happier with the second half performance from Berkeley Vale. So that pass has just gone to absolutely nobody. Luckily, Alan Moore was there. So Bailey thought he was going to link up there with Knight. So Kai Knight will now go into dummy half. 
Oh, it's a wobbly old pass to Moore. Moore goes out the back, and that one's even worse. It goes to Jones. And Jones is there to clean it up, and Ryan McDonald just collars him and wraps him into the turf. And now we've got a penalty, just a bit too keen there, Ryan McDonald. So the quick tack is taken from Mitch Green. Sharks just driving back. <laughs> Good defence there. So we go to the left hand side, Troy Adams. 25 out from the try line. Can the Panthers grab a third? And we've got another penalty here. Just slowing things down. Adams goes for the quick tap. So the set deep here to the right hand side. Moore's calling for it. it goes to him now. Now it goes to Green. Green a wobbly old pass and Better Welsh is there to clean it up yeah, for the Sharks. And that's just been the common theme tonight for the Panthers. Just push that last pass, it just breaks down. Kyle Franklin will play this. 20 out from his own try line. We go to the right hand side, Lewis. Ryan McDonald steps back inside and eventually he's wrapped up from Van Beffren. Also Brody Green in the tackle. Now Ryan McDonald's just trying to pinch a couple more metres. Maybe just trying to eat up a few more seconds on the clock. So it's a good run there from Ryan Jowett. Hopwood linking up with Vetter Welsh. A cut out pass here. He finds Harry Kyle Franklin. He's got them two mixed up all night. Kyle Franklin and Harry King. And Kyle Franklin now a little basketball pass over the top to Parfit. Parfit steps away from one. Parfit still going. And we brought down 42 out from the Panthers line. Hold here. Lewis, inside pass to Jowett. Jowett's got a bit of space. Van Beveren's coming, but Jowett's still going. And good tackle there from Jaden Jones. Had to be made. Van Beveren's down in back play. It's the last tackle for, for the Sharks. They go to the right-hand side. Lewis, short pass there to Dice. And McDonald looking for another one. And McDonald's held up on the line. And the referee will say that'll be a handover. At 24 points to 8. The Sharks will go back to Terry Hill tonight with the two points. Berkeley Vale will be 0 and 2, although they do get the two points from the bye last week. So Knight, another hit up. Carroll back in there at dummy half. And he goes out to Moore again. And he finds Alan Moore out there on the, on the wing. I don't think he was expecting that. On the left we hold. Come the short side again with Moore. Moore bends away from a couple, but Vetter Jones gets him, and well, Alan Moore now just boots it downfield. Aiden Wright's there to clean it up. Aiden Wright will run at Bailey. Gets away from Bailey's right, and almost turns back into him. Gets around from Carroll's tackle, but Kai Knight's there to wrap him up. Good little run that from Aiden Wright. Hotwood in a dummy half. It's Josh Lyon. We'll just take a set back as we're into this final minute. Probably just have one out stuff here from the Sharks. As I say, that they go through the hands. They want a fifth. As Josh Dice will take the tackle. He gets the pass away. Oh, the tackle's complete. There's still play on here. McDonald down the sideline here, linking up here with Harry King. And King's got a try. Pretty much right on full time. Harry King gets his name on the score sheet. And the Sharks now 28 points to 8. Just let's go away. Look, the man's going to get cranky. Look, he's going to get cranky. Look, come on. So, uh, yeah. Spider has just come down from the uh, the box behind us and making himself a bit friendly with me here at Berkeley Vale Oval. <laughs> that's full time. The Sharks have got this one 28 to 8. And still got the conversion to go. And it's been a good win here for the Sharks. And well, we've got the Ainsworth man of the match for you. I have to say, we'll give it to Harry Mulligan who got two tries 
this afternoon. He made some good runs, come in and help the forwards. And he's got a brilliant individual try there to pretty much seal things for the Terrigal Sharks. Uh, congratulations to Harry, Harry Mulligan. He's the Ainsworth man of the match. I said we've still got the conversion to take here. Hayden Wright will put things down here to get this underway. So a disappointing end for the, the local crowd, but the, uh, the visiting Terrigal supporters will go back to the Terrigal Hotel very happy, no doubt. Taking his time, Hayden Wright. Strikes it nicely. And it's waved away. So that is full time. And Terrigal Wombrel Sharks have defeated the Berkeley Vale Panthers 28 points to 8 here in the Central Coast Rugby League. Match of the round here at Berkeley Vale Oval. It's been a good game. But, uh, the Sharks just too strong. The Panthers fought hard in the second half to come back, but uh, in the end, the Sharks just too much. Five tries to two. Try scorers were McDonald, a double to Harry Mulligan, the Ainsworth man of the match. Todd Lewis and also Harry King getting tries. They proved too strong here. So that's about all we've got time for you here. Terry Hall, Terry Hall, Wombrel Sharks, 20 defeating the Berkeley Vale Panthers 8 here on the Central Coast Rugby League. Two weeks match of the round. We'll be back with more action tomorrow. There's two more games in Central Coast Rugby League. You can tune into Bar TV Sports for all that action. But it's Paul Arendelle signing out here from Berkeley Vale Oval.